the 6300 has two slices, two pan adapters, up to seven megahertz of bandwidth for each one. It uses a single digitizer. It works from 160 meters through 54 megahertz. Okay, and that's, it has a, um, it's designed, it has also has two of the digital audio channels like I showed you, and it has two of the IQ digital channels, so if you want to do uh, CW skimmer, up to 96 kilohertz. Okay. If you move up to the 6500, it goes to higher performance processing inside. It can therefore handle four receivers simultaneously. Uh, it goes to 70 megahertz for the four meter band for, for guys that want to operate there. Um, it also has the ability to do, um, it also has contest grade filters in it. So as you, this is 65, and you see where it says wide? And that's because I'm running on two different bands at once right now. But if I were to do something like close this, you notice the wide went away. I'm now running a 17 meter band filter that does this and band passes it. Well, what's that interesting for? Well, if you're running in a multi-environment, multi-multi environment, or if you've got a neighbor that's a, like me who is the past president of the Central TX, Central Texas DX Club, and his 40 meter beam, <laughs> that comes in kind of handy. We know um, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but that's the next step up. It also has um, just more processing power, the ability to zoom in better. Each pan adapter can do up to 14 megahertz wide. So one cool thing I can do here is I can literally take two slices and show you the entire HF spectrum from uh, from broadcast all the way through 30 megahertz across, and I always put them down across the bottom. Of the so screen. then just use the other two to work. And I use the other two to work. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm still able to use four slices. So just to complete the story, to move up to the 6700, it actually is like stacking a second 6500 on top. It has two complete separate digitizers each with contest grade filters, each capable of 14 megahertz wide, and it'll actually do up to eight receivers if you're crazy like me and need that. But more importantly, it allows you to work on two antennas at once. So I'll take my six meter beams and point towards South America, hoping, wishing that six will open to South America. And then I'll use the other one for HF or VHF. Now the 6700 also has a really decent two meter receiver in it. It was designed originally as a transverter interface, but it works quite well on two meters. And so uh, it needs an amplifier. There's already two companies out there now, um, Downey's Microwave and M Squared that are making amplifiers for it as well. So, and that gets us, kind of rounds out the whole product line. Uh, they're all Ethernet controllable. They're all good net network ready. So when we get the wide area network software out, um, that'll be a great opportunity for people to be able to, you know, sit across the room or sit across the country and operate your radio. So, all right. Thanks.